Coming up on Mountain News this morning, Kentucky law enforcement officials give some tips on how to keep your home safe while you enjoy your summer vacation. And a crash causes one Eastern Kentucky restaurant to temporarily close its doors. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning to you, 531 on this Monday morning. I'm Dakota Makris. Good morning to you. Well, it's been a not a really a rough start to the morning for me. I woke up kind of late because, you know, now I'm a kitten dad. So, Brandon, i got to take care of myself, got to get myself I up, got to take care of the cat. And it, I know, knew you'd keep that cat. I knew you would well, keep that well, cat. Well, listen, I ended up naming her Winona after mm -hmm. Winona Judd, and I couldn't just give it to, so I couldn't just give her to someone else. I mean, she's mine, so I found well, her in my yeah, car. There you go. So, but yeah, I kept her. You'll and, be a good cat, Dad. Oh, she loves to cuddle, but <laughs> you know what? We, we have a newscast, dude. We can't just talk about the cat the whole newscast. That's right. But we can, but I'll get in trouble. So. That's right. <laughs> All right, let's talk about some weather, which is going to impact everybody not just you and your cat. All right, let's take a look here and see what's going on across the region this morning. We're going to see some rain moving in. Last six hours, been kind of quiet there in the overnight hours. Clouds are sticking around. Maybe a few sp folks might be seeing a little bit of clearing, but that's not going to last long as we see waves of rain come through today. Look at Somerset, 79 right now, 73 in Monticello, 70 in Wise, Hazard, Jackson, Moorhead, the list goes on and on. 72 in Pikeville, 64 though in Clintwood, 69 over toward Harlan and 68 in Jonesville this morning. As we head into the uh, state temperatures and regional temperatures up there, 72 in Cincinnati, Ashland 2, 69 in the Tri-City, 74 in Nashville and 71 in Paducah. 12 hour planner for today, keep your rain gear handy. Some fog, some clouds this morning and scattered chances will pick up and be around throughout the day. Heavy rain possible at times, so keep an eye on your creeks and streams, especially if you live in a flood-prone area. Dakota? All right, Brendan, thank you. Middlesboro police are looking for a missing man. Kyle Wiggins was last seen on July 8th in the area of Willow Street, close to the Binghamtown four-way. Boy, he has short brown hair, green eyes, and a short beard or goatee. Police say Wiggins was last seen wearing a gray t-shirt and blue shorts, carrying a black skateboard and a camouflage backpack. If you have any information, you can call Middlesboro Police using the number you see on your screen. A shooting in Perry County this past weekend led to one person needing, needing to be flown to Pikeville Medical Center. In a post on social media, Perry County Sheriff's Deputy said the shooting happened at, at, at around 7.30 p.m. Saturday near the whole school road area in Bonnyman, just outside of Hazard. The post, a post said the initial investigation points towards it being a domestic situation. The one gunshot victim was a man who was flown to Pikeville Medical Center. Police say no arrests have been made at this time and the investigation is ongoing. Basketball teams from around the region came together at Wesley Christian School this past weekend for a cause. The Blue Line Showcase having raised more than $7,000 for the Floyd County Sheriff's Department. People donated and teams paid tournament entry fees. And this check was presented to Floyd County Sheriff John Hunt. School officials say that 100% of the money will go to the department and those still recovering from the shooting. Billy Ray's restaurant in Prestonsburg is now temporarily closed after an, a crash on Saturday. Workers said in a Facebook post the crash involved a vehicle in the front of the building. The restaurant is a popular spot, especially after church on Sundays. A timetable for the restaurant's return has not yet been announced. Several World War II veterans had the honor of riding in an original B-25 bomber in Logan County. It happened at the airport in Russellville. Honor Flight Bluegrass takes Kentucky veterans on an all-expense paid trips to, trip to the nation's capital, but decided to switch things up this time around. We thought, why not take the plane to the community? It's easier on them, fly them free. The, the normal cost is about $500, but the Kentucky Veterans Program Trust Fund is paying for everything. This was all part of an effort to pay tribute to those who served our country. Well, whether it's a weekend getaway or an extended stay, law enforcement and tourism experts are reminding everyone of some vacation tips to keep in mind. Gilbert Richardo with the Laurel County Sheriff's Office says one way to prevent your house from getting broken into while you are on vacation is by making it seem like someone is always home. Investing in timers for indoor lighting is one way you can achieve this get a really inexpensive uh, set of uh, timers for your lights 
one or two in, in the house and have them come on and go off at certain times. Make sure that if you have some neighbors that, uh, that live nearby that you trust, that you tell them that uh, there's gonna be some lights come on and go back off at certain times, and that way they won't uh, call the police and, and nothing be going on. Well, he adds the Laurel County Sheriff's Office offers a program called Away From Home Patrols, where if you tell the Sheriff's Office you will be gone on vacation, officers can patrol the area around your home while you are away. If you plan to go on vacation, you can contact your local Sheriff's Office or Police Department to see if anything, if see if it offers anything similar. It is no secret that being a first responder can be a strenuous job, but one Southeastern Kentucky Fire Department wanted to have a moment to cut loose and invite other local departments to take part. Our Alyssa Williams was in Laurel County to watch the Appalachian Foothills fire muster unfold. Playing games and fighting flames. We want the community to come together. We want the tri-counties to come together. We want the states to come together. And uh, this is an event that all firefighters can participate in. The Lilly Volunteer Fire Department of Laurel County hosted their first post-pandemic Appalachian Foothills fire muster on Saturday. It doesn't matter whether you're a firefighter, ENT, it doesn't matter, we're all one big family. So it feels really good to get together and be together on something that we can enjoy doing. Through timed competitions between themselves and other departments, first responders can not only practice their skills, but they can show the public that they're just people too. You know, nowadays, volunteer departments are, you know, shorthanded, uh, needless to say, and it, it's a really good thing to, to bring the public in, to let them see that it's not just, you know, us going to calls, you know, that we do get out and can have fun. Those with the Lilly Volunteer Fire Department say this event can not only help to build a relationship with the community, but it will also strengthen relationships within the department. We have a lot of guys that actually never got to participate in the muster because most of our guys came in during COVID. Taking the time to put out any misconceptions people might have about their job. But it's really great that the community can see us in this light instead of just on bad days. In Laurel County, Alyssa Williams, WYMT, Mountain News. Well, those with the fire department tell us this was the first muster they have hosted since 2016, adding that they hope to involve more departments across the state to create an even bigger event in the future. For many people, growing up to be a cowboy or cowgirl like in the old westerns might seem like a dream, but one event in Clay County aims to turn that dream into a reality. Attendees from 14 states came out to take part in the annual SAS Black Gold Shootout at Ponderosa Pines in Clay County with shooters competing against one another in timed shootouts, hillbilly spelling bees, and other creative events. The shooting is a great part of it, but the friendship and the friends that you, you know, it's just, it's unbelievable the competition it is and how fierce the competition is. But then again, if you have a, a, a rifle break or something, your competition will hand you his rifle and still try to beat you. You know, it's, it's nothing, it's just amazing that part of it. Well, the shootout kicked off Wednesday and wrapped up Saturday with an awards ceremony and ball for the event attendees. If you are looking for an exciting and engaging activity to do to at your next birthday party or large gathering, one southeastern Kentucky business has you covered. The Great Escape Corbin, a business that offers escape room games at its storefront, can now bring the, uh, its games to you. The business is now offering mobile escape rooms where it can set up and host escape rooms at birthday parties, church events, and other gatherings. The business's owner and CEO, Emily Howard, says, well, they had had great success with this endeavor so far. I love being able to go to people and their events and, um, like I said, the churches and the, the schools and, you know, people that typically wouldn't be able to come here. Um, it's really awesome to be able to go visit them and um, have our rooms there. There are currently two mobile escape rooms to choose from, but Howard says the business plans to add more options in the future. She adds that great, the Great Escape Corbin will be set up at the Nip Rock and Chicken Festivals. And of course, we'll have more information on the mobile escape rooms on our website at WYMT.com. Adding some sweets to downtown Prestonsburg, the Scoop Ice Cream Shop opened this past weekend. Customers can get a variety of desserts at the Scoop, with the main feature being the ice cream flavors. The shop's owner says this is the third store he has opened in Floyd County, along with uh, Angler's Shaved Ice and Angler's Bait and Tackle, as he could see people wanted more ice cream. 
um, a lot of my customers wanted me to get downtown. So I was trying to find a spot downtown and I knew when I was coming to town I'd have to rebrand or rename the business. So we come up with the scoop. And will those with the shop want to thank the community for the support as they were busy from start to finish when they opened yesterday? We just had this morning a Hollywood power couple finally seals the deal after being engaged for a second time. And showers and storms will continue today and some of those could leave parts of the region facing some possible high water issues. I'll track out that rain in about three minutes.